Yep. Wait, belt. Where? Oh, anywhere. In the cooler. <laughs> Launch from the shore. My friend told me in Tampa you can do that easy. All you need is a kayak to get you to the island and you can stay on there. Just, yeah, true, true. Mom, there's a guy, remember I talked to you about on Saturday? Welcome back, everyone. Hope everyone had a great holiday season. I know we have the new year coming up, but hope everything's been going pretty good. Hope the end of the year has been great for everyone. Today, I'm going out with my sponsor, Soflo Spearfishing. Great guy, I've been diving with him for about a year now. And he wanted to take us out on his dinghy. I know it's been a while since I've put anything out. Holiday season got me a little busy and so finally wanted to edit this. This is going to be a bit different though. I changed a couple settings on my camera, so let me know how you guys like the quality of the video. I love starting a dive, like, you know, a full day of diving off right like that. Don't know if it was the flash here, but it might have just been coincidental. He was just passing by. The gun I'm using is a Signal 7. He's a guy over in Tampa, Florida that makes them. Nice guy. These flashers were going off today. They were bringing all sorts of fish. We had some yellow jacks swim by and it was the perfect start of the morning. But right here we had a large school of snapper that kind of go towards the flasher a little bit. The larger ones are always on the outskirt. But I was being so picky with my shot and which fish I wanted. Man, that's a healthy school of snapper though. Nice. We had this beautiful Mackie swim by. I mean, they were some decent sized ones this day. They'd always swoop in towards a flasher, but I took a long shot on that one and he just ninja to the right. No chance I was gonna get him. The Hail Mary shot. So 
so the thing I've noticed with mackerel, you have to gauge it. You know, if they're very skittish, they're not going to give you the opportunity. But what I've what I've always done since I was 10, 12 years old is you swim after it as much as you can, and they eventually turn to look at you. Yo, right here, a big snapper and a huge mackerel just came again. That moment where the mackerel turns sideways is your chance for the shot. Not always does it work out like that, but usually chasing them is going to have them turn to the side at some point to glance over at you. So I want you to remember this. There's nothing in front of this hole, but there's two lobsters. It's clear this is the first time I found this hole I was trying to see if I could get them just playing around with them we, we marked the spot and remember to come back to it it's pretty easy to identify Got that beautiful yellow jack, and here comes my buddy. He noticed there was a second one there, so it was perfect timing. And he got the stone shot. I kept it down there for that reason, bro. I knew he was gonna come back in. Hell yeah. Notice we have two flashers. One is this flashlight, one is my throw flasher. It's probably the same mackerel that's been swimming around us. Don't know 100% sure, but same size. And I finally got that opportunity I was waiting for. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. <laughs> Yo, such a beautiful fish, man. That's the one that's been circling us. Nice. That flasher, the fish, everything. In the next couple of weeks with my sponsor, SoFlow Spearfishing, I'm going to be working on a giveaway for a knife, mask, flashlight, and those type of things. It's going to be on my Instagram, sb underscore spears. Bro, what the fuck is that? Was he just going on the top? Oh. Got him out. Oh. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> So if you remember that spot I was at earlier for the lobster, somehow in an hour, this sea urchin moved in front of it. There was an eel and I was running. You were freaking, that was crazy. I got both, but I thought there was an eel, so I let go. You're nuts. <laughs> nice. The other one's out. He's I on saw, top. I saw him. I'm gonna see if I get him. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dude, I was freaking out. I saw a huge eel, but this big earlier. So I was like, I was like, he must be screaming at me because of the eel. All right. All right. You're legal. saw those lobster earlier and I had already seen a huge moray eel swim by but I put my whole body in there my homie was watching me so I felt you know good but I got both lobsters one in each hand grab both knuckles and then I hear my friend go oh, or like you know like that that underwater sound I thought a moray eel was coming for me so I shoot out the smallest hole right above me um, and I got, I think, sea urchin. There was a sea urchin I moved. And I got some sea urchin in my hand. Um, the lobster's legal. He's in the cooler. I'm sitting on it. Um, the yellow jack and the Spanish, uh, the mackerel. I put it in. I cut the tail so we can bleed more. Beautiful. I'm gonna hop in in a second. Oh yeah, so I also got these new fins from Nautilus and Siphons. I was not expecting that because fiberglass fins but it's day and night. I mean I'm barely putting any effort in moving. Um got that spine right there. And right there. get stuck in that that's gonna be bad I've got fish. I'm happy. yeah same here we each got one lobster and some fish we're good all right bro let's head back in easier on the way in but I feel like we're still gonna be bouncing. Yep. Thanks again for watching everyone. I hope you have a great New Year's and let's look forward to another year of solid diving with good people.